The Monokuma things keep getting weirder and weirder. Like, what? Alright. I guess to the cafeteria we go then. Let's go. Let's get on out. Let's boogie. Let's get dizzy dizzy down to the cafeteria. Alright, let's go. Oh, Kirigiri's not here, but Fukawa is instead. Are you saying the very sight of me is causing your eyes to rot? No, we're just shocked that you're here. It is indeed become some time since you joined us, Fukawa. Did you have a change of heart? My white knight said he prefers his girls chunky. What? What? What did he say that for? She said she'd be by later, dude. After you left, my eggs. I may have said you have to make the first move with a girl like her, but I didn't mean it like that. Oh, come on. You don't even know what we're talking about. You're the kind of guy who doesn't care about the romance, aren't you, Nagi? Oh, come on. This isn't what is happening now. This isn't what it is. It's way too early to have your mind in the gutter. My mind is in the gutter? It's true. That's why I said it. Deny it all you want. You're still a filthy, dirty woman. Trust me, I can tell. No, that's not nice. You take that irresistible body of yours and put it to work doing forbidden, off-the-book extracurricular activities. Uh, what? Uh, what? <laughs> I can't even read this. I can't even look at this. Which side of your face would you prefer I knocked off your shoulders, the left or the right? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, let, let's just let's 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 have the dudes talk serious today. Ignoring Kawa, whose unfulfilled desire seems to have driven her off the deep end. Nags, you and Kiri had best make up, dude. Yeah, I know. Obviously, I'd like to do so right now if I could, but the whole reason for this is because I couldn't tell her what I saw. So the first step is talking to Ugami. Um, Alright then. Let's get to it. Should I just talk to everybody? I guess so. Cheer up, man. So a girl hates you. No big deal. Better than having girls sue you. <laughs> oh gosh. That's not good at all. Uh, oh no, I didn't mean to... I, I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to go in there. I meant to talk to to you. Are you alright, friend? Phew, my head is spinning. I, ser I really seriously can't handle people talking dirty. Of all the weak points, that was the last one I expected out of Asakima. I mean, I guess it's understandable enough. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. If I'm going to be hit, please let my white knight do it. Oh god, that's so gross. That's so gross. That is really, really gross. Okay, anyway. All right, it's your turn, friend. We need we need to get this out of the way. You have some time later. I'd like to talk to you about something. Oh, come on! Stop it! Stop! Now you just turn into a monster. Go wait until tomorrow. I'd like to spend the day resting in my room. Wait, could that be? Oh. But you almost never need to rest, Sakura. Are you sure you're okay? I should be fine if I take some protein and lie down for a short time. Protein will help with anything. Never miss a chance to worship the, the altar of protein, huh, dudes? Nagi, I don't know what you want to talk about, but hold off till tomorrow. Sakura's in pain. Uh, I don't want to wait, but alright. Guess we'll have to. Well then, let's dig in. Breakfast, I've got butterflies. Why are you nervous? I'm not used to eating in front of people. I've always eaten alone ever since I was a child. What about your family? Hey there. I live with my dad and my mom and my mom. Oh, is this a is this polyamory? Two moms? I see. Sounds serious, dude. Let's leave her alone. Nothing good can come from involving yourself with Fukawa. She says with a mouth so dirty it's in need of a good washing. Oh. Well well I'll go ahead and eat first. If I don't care you won't be able to drop by. <sighs> 
Oh god. I wolfed down my breakfast, left the cafeteria ahead of everyone else, and headed for my room. Oh boy. So I've got to wait until tomorrow to talk to Ugami about that. To be honest, I'm kind of relieved. It's going to take some serious willpower to question Ugami face to face. So does that mean my free time options are limited? So the exact two people that I actually planned in the back of my mind to talk to today, Ugami and Kirigiri, are both off the list? I guess that's what it is. Alright, so I guess we're going to have to... Uh, I have to make this quickly if I, want to, if I want to get more story progression in today because I have like 15 minutes until 3, which I have to do stuff at 3. Okay, Ugami's in her room, so I'm, just, I'm not going to go and bother interrupting her. Uh, who who else is available? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I think I'd like to talk to Fukawa, actually. I haven't gotten a good one in with her for a while. I don't know, I worded that pretty strangely, but... Oh. Hi, friend. Um, is it safe to, is it safe to talk to you? I don't know. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk away for now. Oh, what room did it say she was in? Crap, crap, crap. The staff room. This one. Okay. Got it. I'm actually questioning whether I should uh, see some free time events with Togami as well. I don't know. I mean, I think I think I should be able to talk to everybody, at the very least once. I saw a sparkle of lust in your eyes when you looked at me. What are you thinking about? What are you planning to do to me? Um, I mean, everyone thinks I'm a sexual predator. Okay. Alright, let's do it. Oh no, I forgot to do the slot machine first! Fuck! Do I even have anything left? In fact, I probably don't have enough time to do it today either. I mean, it takes a really long time to exhaust all my medals. Um, yeah, maybe next time. I'll just, I'll have like 150 medals and then I'll just fucking just toss everything in and then I'll have 20 million new things. That'll be nice. How about... I have no idea. How about this? Okay, cool. Alright. <laughs> no talkies. Alright, maybe that wasn't good enough of a gift. I have no idea. I don't know how this system works and I refuse to look it up. Either, because... Because I don't know why. Okay, who should I use slot number two with? I don't know. I have no idea. Hey, brah. Hey, brah. Are you still in your room? So this would it, it be everybody that I have the option from. This is everybody who's still alive, isn't it? There's only seven of us left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, including me. Yeah. Oh gosh, this is really... I don't know who to choose. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna go with Togami for today. I'm gonna... I'm just... I'm just I just wanna see... What kind of... Things he'd have to say to me. Hello, Genocider. What's going on? You have a sneeze recently? Okay, it doesn't... Doesn't really matter. Facing here. Hello, pal. As usual, everyone else seems to be flocking together like a herd of sheep. You do well to remain on guard. Mob mentality tends to impair people's judgment. I think everybody is actually in their own separate room. Like, there's no two people in the exact same room. I mean, uh, Genocider and Hagakure are in the same, like, hallway, but they're, like, really far apart. Alright, sure, let's hang out with Togami. What are we- what did we do? Alright, so I know you like this thong. I'm gonna give it to you. But jam, bro. Sure, why not? I'll take that. Be grateful. Okay, sure. 
Whoa, you have a question for me? Something's been nagging at me and I want to clear it up. They call you the super duper high school luxster. What's that supposed to mean? I'm uh, not entirely sure myself, but it sounds like it's just because I'm a normal student who won the recruitment lottery. So it really was pure luck. That clears everything up. It explains how a worthless, talentless plebeian like yourself could make it into a school like this. Without a shred of potential. Well, that's not very nice. I'd rather you not categorically dump everything about me under the Scion label. I'm more than just a bloodline. My intellect, my physique, my build, my everything is world class. I'm the super duper high school renaissance man, so to speak. Feel free to call me that from now on. Okay. You who have nothing and I who have everything. All men are in fact not created equal. I pity you, Nagi. The world is an unfair place. One of these days, I'll share with you a tale of my glory. It's the least I could do to express my sympathy. Be grateful that I would even consider bestowing such a blessing upon you, who will never know true glory. Well, I learned one thing. Conversation with him comes as an extra comes with an extra helping of psychological abuse. Cool and composed. All right, that's not bad, I guess. Tried my best to hold the pieces of my shattered heart together. I trudged back to my room. Okay, so that's what happened today. Um, alright, what happens now? Ding dong, night time. I think I have a little bit of time, I can keep going today. Are we getting our next helping of incentive? I don't want it. I don't want it. Damn it. I don't want to go to the gym. I don't want to go to the gym. What is going to happen today? Okay, where, where's the gym? Okay. Hey. Very, very frightened now. As soon as everyone had arrived in the gymnasium, it began. Yeah. Well, let's not waste any time. By your expressions of terror, it seems to have begun to understand plebeian aesthetic. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. No incentives this time. The reason I gathered you guys here today is so I can clear the books on a grudge I've been holding. Well, we may have reason to bear a grudge against you. I can't imagine why you would have one against us. Enough with the ambiguities. Spit it out. What do you want from us? You remember what you said before, Togami, about how I might have planted a mole in your midst? I'm gonna tell you who the mole is. You ready? The mole is set. No. <laughs> well, there it is, out in the open. He said it so quickly, he gave up the information up so easily. I almost had trouble believing I was actually hearing an important secret. What? What'd you just say? What are you talking about? There's no way that Sakura is your stupid mole. Isn't that right? Oh. That was her premonition. Also, I think it's about time you made good on your promise to me, Ugami. If you don't, well, whatever happens to the hostages is on my hands. HOSTAGES! That's all I have to say. As for this whole bowl business, you guys can handle that however you want. This is incentive, isn't it? This is secretly incentive. An eye for an eye, tooth for tooth. In other words, a betrayal for a betrayal. What are you saying? Of course she's not. Well, what do you have to say, Ugami? If it's not true, then tell us. Oh, now I can have 
have uh, told Kirigiri that because now she knows and <laughs> everything is ruined. I apologize for keeping this from you. My apologies. You've been lying to us all this time. As Hina is exactly right. Yami had no choice. The puppet master was coercing her. But I do know, because I saw it. I saw Ugami fighting Monokuma. That's when I heard it, about the hostages he mentioned earlier. This is what Ugami said in response. I have resolved myself to fight against you. Hmm, so you saw that. You reluctantly agreed to follow the puppet master's orders because he had taken hostages, didn't you? But in the end, you resolved to betray him, Ugami. Ergo, she's no longer our enemy. Ergo, she's our friend and we can place our full trust in her, is that it? <laughs> You're ridiculous. What kind of fairy tale world do you live in? She was the puppet master's puppet. Like hell, I'm giving her my trust that easily. Yeah, dude, we can't trust her that easy. In any event, who's to say she actually betrayed the puppet master? She could very well still be in his pocket, simply having simply feigned defect. So, Ugami, if you actually betrayed the puppet master, then, j then tell us this. Just who is he? Forgive me, I know nothing. You don't know anything. It's getting harder and harder to believe you. Come on. Shut your mouth. I'm not done with her. Next question. What is this prompt that Monokuma spoke of? What have you been ordered to do? The order I was given was to murder someone. Oh, no. There was a perceptible delay between the words entering our ears and our brains registering them. I see. So even now, at this very moment, our lives are in danger. Oh, no. You don't need to yell. We're standing right here. We can hear you just fine. I'm yelling because you aren't listening. There's no reason for further conflict on my account. I will atone for my misdeeds. What do you intend to do? Take the puppet master down. Is that the man that she can't defeat? That's probably it, isn't it? I will do battle with the puppet master and I will take him down even if I go down with him. That's how I intend to atone. I apologize, Asahina, for not confiding in you. On numerous occasions, I considered confessing everything to you, but I was afraid. I was afraid you might despise me if I told you the truth. My apologies. <laughs> this is so sad. I'm really scared now, too. Who could die? Who could die? Mugame turned her back on us and headed out of the gym, walking with a slow, heavy gait. And as she did... <laughs> well, look at the time. Let's get going then, shall we? What we have. She is our enemy. That's all there is to it. Oh, no. Why would anyone try to understand her? What about you? Do you think you understand her? Not even you knew who she really was. Asahina, talking about this right now isn't going to accomplish anything. Let's just call it a night. We can continue the discussion tomorrow. Sleep on it. Give yourself some time to cool off. Oh gosh, this is not good. This is not good. The tension in the air was palpable, and that brutally heavy tension hovered over us until the better end. Ugami is the mole. Ugami is a traitor. So Ugami claims she's our enemy, but he's wrong. She's no enemy. She's our ally, our friend. But what am I supposed to do? How can I convince everyone that we can trust her? How can I...
Zenda. する。そんなの賛成だよ。正真正銘の。そんなことにあんたの方こそ。死ねばいいんだよ。なんだと。面白い。This is heavy. This is really heavy. <sighs> oh, that's that's no good. That's not good either. Nothing but a woman's hysterics. Hardly the slightest bit amusing. You seem to give very little consideration to human emotions, Hogami. <laughs> What's your point? Yeah. <sighs> 